Our society has taken to worship tech giants and the people who have created some of the greatest innovations of the last 20 years. People like Elon Musk, Steve Jobs and Jeff Bezos are all revered as incredible people who seem to accomplish more in a day than most people do in their entire lifetimes. The amount of projects these people take on seems insurmountable, but in reality, how much can even these brilliant minds accomplish? The truth is, the average life expectancy in the United States is 79 years, but the universe has been around for 13.8 billion years. Our lives are nothing but a blip then, right? Even if that's the case, it's easy to find a moment here and there, to sit in the meadow, enjoy the flowers and feel like your life has infinite time. 79 years after all is quite a lot. But let's be honest, you don't really get 79 years of free time, do you? We've all heard that age-old saying that it takes 10,000 hours to become a master or something. Well, if you have 79 years, that should be pretty easy. But if you sleep about 8 hours a day, you will only be left with about 53 years. Ok, 53 years is still a lot of time, but those years get chopped and banished into oblivion very quickly. You'll probably attend school and then higher education which kicks another few years of your life. What about your chores? Not the things your mom asked you to do when you were a kid, although those take away from your time on earth too. We are talking about all the time you'll spend cooking, cleaning, taking care of your kids and making sure bills are paid. This task may seem innocuous, but you're going to end up spending 8 years of your life doing this stuff. Then there's your phone and the TV and the internet, which will probably take up most of your free time after you're finished with your job, roughly amounting to 15 years if you're using your phone or if you're not that modern, 7 years worth of watching TV. Oh, and then you have to factor in your job, your civic duty, your source of income and the place where you'll likely spend about 100,000 hours of your life. You better find something that makes you happy or at least you don't hate. But the grass is greener on the other side, right? Once you retire, you're free. Not exactly. Let's say you, like most average Americans, retire at 65. Much of the time between 65 and 79 may be spent trying to quell symptoms of debilitating conditions, if not disease. It's not the happiest time on earth and it's called old age for a reason. So where are we? Well, if you minus all the time calculated for all the activities above, you're left with negative time on earth. Negative 3 years to be exact. How is that possible? Is your life really taken away from you before it begins? It's easy to view it that way, but there's a more positive way to look at everything we've discussed. Remember, you have freedom of choice in life. You don't have to spend 15 years of your life on your phone or 7 years watching TV. Part of the magic of spending all that time taking care of yourself for 8 years is that your old age might end up being a time where you can feel young again. If you mindlessly scroll on your phone through useless articles, that's 15 years of your life gone. If you hate your job and you can't wait for it to end, then that's going to cost you 12 years of your life. The idea is not about how much time we spend, but instead to be mindful about how we spend it. Embrace the brevity of life for what it is and savor every moment. Those prolific tech giants like Elon, Jobs and Bezos, do you think they're spending 15 years of their time mindlessly scrolling on their phones? We consider them masters of what they do. No, let's get back to the 10,000 hour rule. If you spend that 15 years on your phone, let's say learning about your passions and doing the things you love, you could master over a dozen art forms, professions or skills. Just think about how effective you can become if you only start to spend your time carefully. If you want to view your time on earth, remember, the most important thing to do is to view it positively. Life on earth has been around for 3.8 billion years, but the most current moment is yours. No, Take yourself back to the open field filled with flowers and the sun high above your head. Each of those flowers represents another day of your life filled with opportunities. Seems huge? Great. Spend it wisely.